Hey everyone, Scott here to discuss The Conjuring, starring Vera Farmiga, Patrick Wilson, Ron Livingston, and Lily Taylor, and directed by James Wan. And I'm leading up to Annabelle Creation that comes out in about four weeks from now. Well, maybe three, but I, I can't keep track. And what did I think of this movie and how scary is it to me? Let's find out, shall we? The Annabelle doll looks so fucking creepy. But we're leading up to Annabelle creation, so what's that going to tell you? And she's just creepy to look at, and good job to James Wan for scaring the shit out of audiences around the world. Let's hear it for him. When the movie says it's based on a true story, I find that to be complete bullshit, because... But when there was an Ed and Lorraine Warren in real life... And there is a family named the Perron family, which is, this movie is based on. And they did approach the Perrones and looked at a demon possession. And the Perrones told Ed and Lorraine to get out. So Ed and Lorraine are kind of frauds in real life at this point. Well, not frauds, but there might be still um, hunting for ghosts. Ed is dead and Lorraine is alive. Not because of this movie, but... We'll talk about it. Ed Warren is played by Patrick Wilson, who I think is an okay actor. He looks a little bit like Will Arnett. And Lorraine Warren is played by Vera Farmiga, who I who's a much better actress, and I'll give them credit for the chemistry they have already. We get introduced to Roger Perrone, played by Ron Livingston, who I've seen him most... I know him most for Office Space, I feel like, because he's Peter from Office Space. And Carolyn is played by Lily Taylor, and they've got good chemistry as well, especially Roger and Carolyn, including Ed and Lorraine, which I already talked about. The dog getting killed out of the blue in the movie, whereas in real life, was sad, whereas in real life, the dog got killed by a neighbor. And it wasn't killed like that in the movie. It was more like in real life, they the dog was killed by a neighbor, like I said. And in the movie, it shows that the that a devil or demon or demonic some presence killed the dog, which that's kind of sad. And one of the Perone's daughters, I think her name was Andrea, if I'm not mistaken myself, tried to kill off the neighbors and after he killed the dog well not just the one punk ass kid that killed the dog but there's five daughters in this movie and that's going to be really distracting because I'm not going to know all their names am I the only one who thinks one of the prone's daughters out of the five Christine played by Joey King looked like a boy she seriously looked like a boy I mean with that haircut sorry Joey I, I, I like you as an actress but I can't, because I can't help but think to myself, it's a boy, oh wait, it's a, she's a girl. But yeah, that's, that's going to be a problem when the movie progresses. Cindy, played by Mackenzie Foy, which, didn't I recently see her in Interstellar? I think I did. Is sleepwalking and hitting her own head on the closet door in Andrea's room. It's kind of a weird scene because when she sleepwalks, or when anybody sleepwalks, do they know not to hit their head on a closet door? Eh, maybe they might be asleep, but I don't know. The hide and clap game looks really fucking dangerous, especially when you're just moved into a house that's new. That's probably not a good idea by any means necessary. Bruises that Carolyn has, if I first see that on a wife, I take her to a doctor right away, guys. Just come on. Especially when it was a demonic bruise. Also, when she goes into the basement and she gets locked in, out and suddenly lights a match. And the next thing you know, we see the clapping like this behind her. Which, that was in the trailer. I was scared for Carolyn because, like I thought she was going to die. I thought she was going to die at that point. And there's another point where I felt like she was going to die. And I'll get there. Carolyn finds and tracks Ed and Lorraine Warren at a school in Massachusetts. Now, if she's new to the neighborhood, 
How does she know where they to find them? That's what I want to know. It bothered me quite a bit. Bathsheba is kind of a weird name for a demon, but they have many different funny names, so I'm not going to put it on them. The demon vomits blood in Carolyn's mouth. That was gross, in my general opinion. The line, look what you made me do, that Bathsheba says, doesn't sound too scary for what for a witch to say. I think it had something to do with a baby getting killed. I don't know. I felt bad for Ed and Lorraine's daughter, Judy, because at some point she gets attacked by a demon holding the Annabelle doll and almost throws the chair at her. And that was almost scary. I, I almost freaked. The exorcism of Carolyn was not scary but action-packed, but it was at a, that point that I thought Carolyn was going to die. This is the second round, by the way, folks. And Roger would lose his wife from a demon. But luckily she lives at the end. Spoiler alert for those of you that haven't seen the film. Now it's time for the rating. I'll give this movie a 7.6 out of 10. It's scary, but I'm afraid not too scary because I've seen this movie loads of times. And I'm a little worried for the sequel in the two Annabelle movies because I don't remember the first Annabelle or Conjuring 2 very well. But let's hope we end this series on a better note. But I still like the movie. So I'll be back next week with Annabelle. And until next time, the demonic pos possession, don't let it go anywhere near you.